Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to talk about um, brute force and uh, let's say a dictionary list attack. Uh, so of course this video is just for education only. Uh, do not run those uh, attacks against uh, website uh, or at least uh, websites and uh, files that you don't own and that you don't have the permission uh, to attack. So it's really a video education purpose and the purpose is for you to understand that you need to have secure password and you need to change uh, them all the time according to the different services and databases that uh, you are uh, using. So um, in this video, what I will show is how you can uh, technically uh, get uh, within a WordPress uh, website uh, that you own if you lost, uh, for example, uh, your, uh, your password. And uh, for this, I will use um, a service, or at least um, um, a program which is named WPScan um, that you can find WPScan.org on GitHub. Uh, it's uh, open source in terms of the code is open. Uh, however, if uh, you are using it uh, for commercial purposes, you need to purchase a license. So uh, let's uh, let's go for it. So I have a WordPress website, which is the following one. So we'll go for it. Go. Uh, it's uh, this given this given WordPress website, and um, I would like to get within it. And I would like to know what is the username and what is the password. And that's exactly what WPScan is, uh, is doing. Actually, WPScan is um, an app which is developed in order to attack uh, WordPress websites. And in my case, going to uh, guess the username and the password. Um, not though that uh, attackers can do already a bit of investigation by looking at your WordPress because the name of the owner of the blog post is uh, most of the time mentioned within the content in itself. It's kind of easy sometimes to identify that here there's uh, for sure an access with root because the name author here is root. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's go for it. And uh, this is the command that you need to run, so WP scan and then a URL, which is the website on which you would like. Um, to uh, send the attack and then the password here is the list that I downloaded from uh, the internet, the Rocky list, which is kind of the most uh, famous one. So you can easily find, in fact, uh, by making some search on the internet. Okay, just look for uh, GitHub password list or dictionary and you will end up on a website uh, such as this one where you have lists of different website and if you click for example over here you will get the list of all the most common passwords which are used and in fact it's those uh, dictionaries which are used and um, which are used in order to um, let's say to brute force so to make those attacks one by one uh, an unlimited number of time until uh, they get the password right and um, so I'm running it against the one of those dictionaries that I downloaded. So that's why we have a sequence such as this one. So WP scan the URL of the website that I would like to attack. Password is the location on my computer of this uh, list of um, of password and then uh, username. So in my case, I know there is at least an account name admin and one which is name. Uh, a root. If you are unsure about how to structure your request, you just need to make a help, okay, like this, and you will know what are the different parameters which are expected by WP scan. So uh, let's go back on it. So here I'm running uh, the attack, and uh, so it's starting, and it's taking a bit of time and here it's saying it okay i'm currently running the attack against two users because it find out two users and they find out the two passwords so it told me okay there's a username which is root and there is a username which is admin password and such i'm going to use this one um admin admin and sunshine so we go over here WP admin and we say that it's admin and as a password it's going to be uh, we say it's sunshine 
and I'm getting within uh, the WordPress. So how is it possible it was that fast? Uh, simply because I cheated a little bit here. In fact, uh, what I did is that I went directly on my uh, on my file, which is the ROQ file, this one, and I think it's P in order to split it. Um, split, okay. And here, as you can see, um, I looked through my file and I picked it up the um, first uh, password in order for uh, WP scan to run a little bit faster and get the combination faster. But normally, uh, running such a um, such a file, such a dictionary will, of course, uh, take you a while in order to uh, take out the, the right password. So, of course, it's going to take some time, uh, may take some hours, maybe some days in order uh, to get the password properly. But I guess you got um, the idea about what Brookforce is about. It's about running uh, many passwords on a given target in order to find out which uh, password is in there. So always have complicated password, um, always mix everything which is uppercase, lowercase, um, figures and have, uh, have it long enough. Uh, normally that kind of attacks have few chances to succeed on the internet, mainly because your WordPress will have securities or at least your server will have security against that kind of attack, but uh, we never know, okay. So um, that's it uh, for today. Hope you enjoy it and hope it helps you understand a little bit more what is uh, brute force about. Thanks for watching.